Okay, I'm Mycroft Holmes, and this is an LP of uh, The Secret World Legends, which is a reboot of The Secret World. And joining me is... Uh, Falconer111. Um, I first st started following this game when the first trailer dropped, and it's been a little while. But it's interesting to uh, see how it's evolved. Yes, he is familiar with the previous version, Secret World Legends is a re-release as a free-to-play MMO with much better combat because I remember playing the original and just bouncing off of it because the combat was horrible. Uh, yeah, the combat was oh, too too complex for what it actually was. It, it, it was... I, I didn't really like... I, you did not play the combat. But hopefully yeah. they've improved it now. Well, it sounds like they've improved it now. It is, it is way better. I have gone almost all the... I've gotten as far as Japan in this game before I let off because I had to do a bunch of grinding to upgrade my equipment. Mm -hmm. So we're playing as the Templars because the op the alternate options are Ultra Capitalist Illuminati or Vaguely Racist Dragon. Yep. So, here's the most important character in it in the whole LP, the bees, because the bees are trying to save the world. I'm I'm not joking, that is literally part of what is happening. And are also possibly angels? It's not clear. Yes, they it, it's not clear. But like that's... a lot of stuff is not clear. It's The lore in this is deep, complex and interesting, which is why I decided to LP it. It's you will see Yeah, there's a lot of vague a or a beggar, and biblical stuff in this. Or to become a god. To stand with us or against us. And also, you know, a little bit of choice is yours. Remember this. Nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I I like like the deep cuts they do. Oh, there. With uh with their lore. And yes, there are some wonderful things. Uh, yeah. Also, I picked the Punisher class because it's simple to do. You have a hammer and a shotgun, and you mostly just shotgun things. It's, um, That's what my other character is, so... They've divided it up into classes. It used to be you had weapons that you switched out, like... I used to go with elemental magic and shotguns, which is the sort of thing you could you could do in that game. It's now just like, uh, well, they changed some of it. Like you have preset classes at the beginning, but you can spec in any weapon combination with your skills. Uh, yes. Well, at least you didn't burn your heart. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, they didn't. I I don't remember them giving you any guidance on that, other than here's some things you can do. Use it on a captured demon. If you like it, then uh, into the deep end with you. Uh, yeah. One of the things they changed is uh, combat about combat in this game is well, they've changed a lot, but it's been a while since I played the original. So you'll have a you'll have a better grasp of what exactly they've changed. Yeah, th this was entirely animated when I played it. Like, this whole sequence. So that's new. The interface does look quite a bit different. The dead are rising to the siren song. Destroy them. Basic abilities are yeah. Looks like the abilities are. Uh, just a little check. Don't mind me talking over stuff that's not important. Yeah, none none of this is important. This is all a vague yeah. dream tutorial. Yeah. This this so this is I specialize in using shotgun, but 
that's how you've dealt with bunches of opponents as a single player. Which uh, yeah, all the single much players. of the combat in this game is about kiting enemies. Mm -hmm. And which was also true then. That it's the shotgun was just they were movie shotguns. They shot they were fired in cones, you know. That that's what made them good. Every weapon becomes a unique focus for your abilities. I do. Yeah, it's. I do like how. Specialities. Every shell an echo of oneself. One of the things they've changed is your shotgun now has different ammunition every time you reload, and you randomly select based on your. Uh, yeah, that ability is, bar down there. Yeah, it used to. Be. Yeah, that is. Is that something that they do for a lot of what? A lot of the weapons. I don't know, I've only ever played Shotgun and Hammers, so... So there you go. I urge people to play this game, it's it's free to play now. Mm -hmm. And uh, this LP will mostly be going over all of the single player content, we won't be doing dungeons or lairs, or raids. But, uh... Yeah, this is the extremely rare, at least the old one was, the extremely rare MMO that had a functional and good single player campaign. It still does. And it's like, I remember I played uh, Tor a while back, and it just didn't, it did not actually compare to, like, this was way better designed as a single player. It just, this, you can actually, in, the characters are also really, really interesting, but we haven't met any of them yet. There will be several that just, like, that will stick around in your head and you stop playing. And for, for an MMO that's not, like, older, so yeah, there's some interesting stuff down the byline. Uh, yeah, character interactions are great in this. Uh, pretty much every mission has an introductory cutscene. Which is a, a great way to introduce you to the characters. Uh, I won't be going into their non-mission related dialogue. That's for you, the player, to go into. And this, you know, you know, this this is a this is a taste of this game. So, why are they it? Um, for those of you who weren't around way back in the old days, the very first trailer that dropped had a Templar with a shotgun fighting that the sort of enemy that is that guy that was up on the rooftop. So it is very interesting to see that come back right back all the way back around. Revenants are like so. Part of part of the reason why I'm here is because I don't. I know a lot of this game is all about old, like this tagline is all myths, are and I know a lot of we real weird real life. Like, do you know what an actual revenant is? Uh, revenant's a type of undead, but I don't believe I'm familiar with the exact differences. It's an English vampire. Exactly. Um, they, ah. somebody comes back, when someone dies bad, specifically if they have a family member that, if they're a family member that has a grudge against living family members, they'll stay in the gra their grave during the day, and at night, they'll wake up and walk their rotting bodies over to you. Either they will haunt you, or they will try to kill you, depending on who you ask. And the only way to get rid of them is to rebury them in consecrated ground. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff around vampire myths. This, this stuff pops up everywhere, but um, that's the revenant is the English vampire. Fight the torch, child. Now another thing this game has is puzzles. Yes. And some of these puzzles I can do by myself, and some of them I will literally be wikiing. This, this in game, game there is a there is an in game web browser specifically because they made fake websites for this game to let you solve puzzles. Yeah. They, they, this, they have, I remember doing research on Wikipedia in through the browser in-game in order to solve some of these puzzles, because sometimes they give you hints that are hints to stuff that's out, unrelated to the game, like Bible verses or sh famous short stories and stuff, that you have to go and research on your own and bring in what you learn to solve the puzzles in here. There's, it's, it's, it is very one of the good things about this game. It's very, very interconnected. There's a lot of stuff that's going on, but it relates to a lot of other stuff. And so, even if you don't know the details that are going on, you will 
if you know anything about like either cult things or history things or whatever, you will occasionally spot it and go, oh, I know that. Uh, I should mention the first region we go to is New England. And uh, they went whole hog with the Stephen King. They went whole yeah. Went whole hog with the Lovecraft, too. It's literally, yeah, there's literally like a Lovecraft lane in the yes. first town we go to. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't bother hiding that much. To avoid stepping on a in, man, oh, Lovecraft. So that, <laughs> these, that's going to be... Those are going to be some interesting short stories that end up getting broken out when we get, to, get through uh, that particular town. And if you step uh, the on those one stories, aspect of this game that I do not enjoy... Stealth missions. They uh, have stealth missions in this game. They are universally terrible. I I don't remember if they were in the original version. I may have just suppressed the memories. I but I don't recall going through them. If they were, they sucked. So glad to see that happen. It hasn't been heard. This is just not the kind of engine you want to use with stealth. Oh god, no. I, I can tell you this. If I was... Do you know if standing in the water while it's electrified like that hurts you? Um, I believe it does. Because I would... If I was playing this game, I would have found that out the hard way. Like, I am I am very much... I can't really do it anymore for various health reasons, but I was very much a... I'm going to pay exactly as much attention to the gameplay as I have to, and otherwise I'm just going to be thinking about things big. Or just paying attention to cutscenes. So... I'm I'm gonna remember a lot about various characters and stuff, and be blindsided by gameplay stuff that comes up. Actually, uh, come to think of a quick question. Um, actually, that's a quick question that should wait until later. We have no time to spare. Should we consult the Council of Venice first? Now is not the time for argument. What was that? So, That's was trailer. this in the original? The this? giant hell beast in, in New York? Um, this, the event was in the original. This particular fight was in the fourth trailer. But this ah. was not in the scene. This, you participating in it, was not in the scene. Like, you just skip this one straight to toe. And uh, I apologize for any stuttering, but... This did not want to work on my computer until I turned it down to DirectX 9. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is this particular fight's brand new. Well, it's a scripted losing fight, so... Who's still... Man, you still use CDs? When did this first come out? Like 2014? It, probably. It came. It did come out when CDs were still a thing. Though, I mean, technically they still are, but it was the sort of thing you could expect to have lying around your house. I think. Yeah, I think this came out when I was in college. Yeah, this. I think this was. Um, th this was when CDs were becoming irrelevant and seen like stuff like Steam was taking over. But there's still, like, you could expect for somebody to ram, ram themselves into a CD bookcase when they're manifesting otherworldly power. It's not like the, the bookcase, CDs being present, being the most unrealistic part of the scene. Good afternoon. Are you... From the look of things, I guess that question is moot. B problem? There's a lot of that going around. I represent an organization headquartered in London, a very large organization with branches across the globe and connections in every government, although we see ourselves as a, um, a silent partner. We pull strings, big strings, prime ministers, presidents, kings. Yeah, it's a very ominous spiel, and these are essentially what amounts to the best choice for the setting? Yep. Crusaders. This yeah, like, because I mean, the alternative is the Illuminati, which are a megacorp 
assholes and the dragon who are like bad kung fu movie assholes. people <laughs> they, like right now she's giving us a hard sell but the illuminati would come and kidnap us and the dragon would come drug us and kidnap us and that would be the recruitment sequence or you can join others like you She's just going like, she's actually selling, trying to recruit you like it's a thing that you don't have to be forced into at literal gunpoint. Into the secret world. The choice, as we're so fond of saying, is entirely yours. But know this, your emerging powers will attract plenty of attention. And not everyone is as, um, as accommodating as we are. On your own, you'll be easy prey. You might not last a week. This will get you where you need to go. There are instructions inside. Use it or don't use it. It's your prerogative. You won't see me again. I trust you'll make the right decision. By the way, our organization is called the Templars. You may have heard of us. We've been around a while. Good day. Yeah. And... Because that wasn't uh, ominous. Uh, yeah. She's like, she walks into your life, goes, yeah, you're kind of fucked, I'm let the pardon me, but you're kind of, um, on, you aren't in for, uh, aren't in for good results, let's say, if you don't, um, sign up with us, but you can just stick around if you want to get, have horrible things happen to you, and the others just, like, kidnap you, steal your way from your own life, and force you into indentured servitude, just, you know, because that's what they do. But we will be meeting members of those, like, members of the other societies. This isn't, like, this isn't, like, I mentioned World of Warcraft. This isn't the sort of thing where the, the factions are constantly, actively trying to kill each other. So. Yeah, it's mentioned in the other video that I recorded, but, uh, the, the, the faction guy you meet is like, you know, it's all smiles above the table and knives beneath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting seeing because like I the I mean it's also been like this particular cutscene right now Sorry, I think was perfect was completely in well, I um, supposed to be but it's not all right lads DI Shelley they're with me it, I, if I remember right this exact cutscene was in the original unchanged um, the, the last cutscene, if I remember right, she never came so into your room. She just gave you the cell in the doorway. And the fight before that wasn't in there at all. But I don't deal with the bureaucracy. I deal with the truth about the secret London, about the Templars. I'd say, I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. thing about truth. As far as I can tell, people very rarely lie to you in this game. But they do tell you stuff that ends up, um not meaning what you think it means, which is pretty on brand for this sort of thing. The Tokyo incident. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of half-truths, and from a certain point of views. Mm -hmm. And also, this is technically no, true, but the there's a bunch of information you don't and can't know that completely changes what, actu what it actually means. Safe inside, Eldwick. Go see one of the prophets prophesying up the road by the tube station. They'll fill you in on the kind of crazy you've got ahead of you. Best be prepared. Uh... My sincerest condolences. I do like London. I do like this meeting area. There's a lot of London is pretty cool. Here. But we're we're pretty much done with this episode. So this is just the tutorial. And uh, that was it. I've been Minecraft Holmes. And I'm Falconer One One One. See you next time. And see you then.